After the Knicks dropped Game 6 against the Heat and a horrible performance from Julius Randle, Stephen A. Smith demanded that he's traded from New York as soon as possible. Here's by 10 at the break on this night in which the Heat knocked out the Knicks here on ESPN. Everyone wants to hear Stephen A.'s reaction. The rest of the time is yours. I want to thank Jalen Brunson for the great season that he gave the city of New York and the Knicks franchise 14 to 22 shooting 41 points. Absolutely sensational performance from him. RJ Barrett is going to be a long off season. You are absolutely pathetic. One of 10 from the field in 32 minutes. All you could score was one basket. You got to really look yourself in the mirror and work on your game. Young man, Julius Randle. I am done with this man. I'm calling for the New York Knicks to trade him. You're not going to win with him. His body language, the second his shot is not falling, he's defeated, and it has contagious effect. It's like a virus that hits everybody, no pun intended, considering the times we live in it. Julius Randle is not the answer. Trade him. He needs to go because every postseason, this is what he does, and that's the way that it is. 14 field goals by Jalen Brunson. The entire rest of the Knicks, all other eight players who played, 13 field goals, an absolutely pathetic offensive performance, and the New York Knicks season is over. Julius Randle is not the answer. Trade for Damian Lillard or Carl Anthony Towns. Find a way. He needs to go. If you can play McBride and Grimes, you can play Damian Lillard with Jalen Brunson. Stephen A is not wrong about Julius Randle. When he's not hitting his shots, his body language becomes atrocious. Another big problem with Randle is in clutch situations, he becomes extremely one-dimensional. He wants to go to the basket, and he doesn't want to do anything else. He will often force up a bad shot, get a charge call, or turn the ball over, trying to force it into the paint. Ironically, tonight it was Jalen Brunson who did that exact same thing. However, he had 41 points, so I think we'll give him a pass. It also doesn't help that Tom Thibodeau is a defensive-minded coach that doesn't drop the best plays in these situations. Trading for Damian Lillard isn't a horrible idea, but that's a win now move and I don't know how that would pan out in the long term depending on what else you give up for him. But what I don't agree with is trading for Carl Anthony Towns. He is no better than Julius Randle. You will be trading for the same exact problem. Carl Anthony Towns does not play well in the playoffs. In fact, he often finds himself in foul trouble so he's not in the game at all. But when he is in the game, he takes shots that he normally wouldn't take. He tries playing hero ball. I've witnessed it in person. In game six against the Grizzlies, he took damn near a half court shot when they were down by four with over a minute remaining. He doesn't react to the clock correctly. If you trade for him, you're getting the exact same problems that you already have now. I understand Stephen A is upset that the Knicks just lost, but trading for Carl Anthony Towns is not the answer. I understand that we've seen the exact same problems from Julius Randle year after year, but the Knicks exceeded expectations. It's important not to overreact to this bad series. If they do too much, it could end up being a step back instead of a step forward. But that's all I have for this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Stephen A. Smith saying that the Knicks should trade Julius Randle as soon as possible. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.